Hello everyone, so this is live. So what is the most destructive quality in our life? You know, we have a lot of qualities, if it's bad qualities, good qualities, but one of the most destructive one is ego. Exactly what you heard. Ego can destroy your relationship, your business, relationship with family, friends, it can actually destroy you to a place that you will left, be left alone. And you know, I will give you an example on my, um, the relationship that I had and I didn't plan to really share this, but you know, what? why not, what the heck. So in uh, my uh, old relationship where we weren't been together for nine years, we broke up. And, but basically, at the second year, when all the fluff and love and all the kitschy pitchy stuff was there, it's, you know, it started to deteriorate around the second year. And what happened is that a lot of shouting, a lot of uh, fighting start to, start to rise. And what happened here is like when, you know, when she's argue and you say no I'm right you're wrong and you know she's right deep down inside of you you just don't don't want to admit it so you keep on arguing you still like be the man I'm always right blah 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 and basically that can destroy a relationship because it builds in it builds in so even if we put aside that that fight for let's say put it aside we said okay never mind that it's built up because you didn't solve it you didn't solve the real problem then it rise up rise up more and more and more and more until it explodes on the little stuff for example you can fight over a fork so and it's not about the fork <laughs> it's not about the fork it's about what happened there before all the little things that you kind of put aside because you didn't want to not being right or show that you are right all the time and that what happened not just in relationship but in uh, business when for example there is a client that is not happy and you said hey I give you everything I had you are wrong and deep down inside you know you did something wrong but you don't want to admit it because you don't want to look like a fool you don't want to look like unprofessional but actually that makes you look very very low place unprofessional it makes you look like you're uncompromised you're not negotiable you're not approachable and basically it will go on and on because this client is not satisfied with your treatment against him so he will tell other person and that person will tell to another one to another one and you will build a bad reputation so how to drop the ego start by noticing it when you notice that it's rise up and you notice that wait 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 could be he right she is right Try to understand, is it really true that she's right, he's right? What happened there? See, take responsibility, take ownership on your things, on what you have done or didn't do. So it starts by taking ownership, it starts by, by noticing it. And when you're noticing it, you start to change it. And if you won't change it, it will eventually destroy in kind of way. So. I would like to hear about what, what do you think about it? Are you going to drop your ego? Or do you have that bigger ego? The, just comment below. I would like to hear about it. Let's help one another because when we write it and we be accountable, not just for ourselves, for all, all the people around us, then we start to change things. So you're welcome to comment below and have an amazing and productive day. And I really appreciate it, took the time to listen. That was a really long one. And uh, if you are watching it on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to get more tools to your arsenal. 
and have again an amazing and productive day. I will see you tomorrow.